You didn't ask me. You probably wish I didn't even bring it up. But now that we're into it, what about Christmas? Nothing wrong with Christmas, right? Is it? Is there anything wrong with Christmas? Huh? We believe in Christ, yes or no? Okay. But what does mass mean? How many of you know what the word mass means? When you're using it like this, Christmas. Christ mass. It's the Catholic Church. You know what mass is. Mass in the Catholic Church means Juma. It's the Jama. It literally is Jama. So you're saying Christ Jama. No way. This means it's religion now, doesn't it? So we can make up the religion, yes or no? Oops. Oops. But, well, just the lights, come on. I mean, look, we got lights in here, don't we? What's well, nothing wrong with that? What if I want to put color in the lights? Nothing wrong with that. Use colored lights all the time, especially in studios where we do recording. We have to put a blue shield, a green shield, red shields, orange, because of lighting and different backgrounds. Yeah, we do it all the time. Nothing wrong with that, right? Right? Wait a minute. But in, when you put them on a string like this, and it says Christmas light right on it when you bought it. And you only put it up at the time of Christmas. Uh, uh, but then the other one will jump up. No, no. We don't only use it just at Christmas. We also do the prophecy birthday with the same lights. But what do I do about somebody who's bringing a Christmas tree in his house? You say, well, wait a minute. You bring flowers in the house, don't you? You got flowers all over the place. What's wrong with that? You don't like pine trees? What's wrong with that? If you're afraid of me cutting it down, okay, I'll bring one in in a pot and I'll go plant it afterwards. Some Christians do that, by the way. They don't want to kill the tree, so they bring it in a pot. They take it out afterwards, they plant it. Is that okay? See, what the problem is, you don't know where it came from. If you knew the history behind it, you'd understand why Allah hates it so much. This is from the religion of the Celtics. This is the ancient religion of Europe. They worshipped all of nature, but they featured the tree above all others, especially the evergreen tree, because it stayed green all year long. When Nimrud died, his mother said he's not really dead. He's in these trees. And the people continued worshiping them up until even a few years ago, I found in one of the Air Force bases where I work as Imam, they had a time when they brought this tree in so a tree worshiper could come in and worship his tree. Can you imagine this? Worshiping a tree. And the name of that God was wooden. What do we call the product that comes out of a tree? That's where it came from. Go check. Everything I said is in the Encyclopedia Britannica, Americana, and Carta. You can go online and look it up in Google. Don't trust me. I'm from Texas. <laughs> I do want to say one more thing before we leave this subject about birthdays, Christmas, all of the different things that people are doing. Do not, listen to me, don't walk out that door and start attacking people over this issue. You will not do any good for your country. You're not gonna do any good for your particular organization and you're not gonna do any good for Islam either. Because you know something, that's between you and the law. And nobody asked you and you're not an alim and you don't know how to answer questions Take it easy. Take it easy. In your own home, with your own family, you can sit together and educate your family. But go step by step, slowly and easy. Because the best cure for false worship is proper worship of Allah. And that comes about through the Tawheed and Salah. Tawheed and Salah. The more that we reflect on Allah with dhikr and we do our Salah, and we talk about the Tawheed and understand who Allah is and isn't, the more we don't want to do things to displease Him. 
If people are doing this or that in your masjid, that's what they do. It's their culture. And if you go against it, all that's going to happen, they're going to bar you from the masjid. And they're going to label you as a Wahhabi. That's what's going to happen. And they don't even know what they're saying. By the way, just so you know, there's no such thing as Wahhabi. This is wrong to use this word. Because it's Allah's name. You mustn't use this word. It's very bad. And when I said it in Saudi Arabia, I thought they were going to kill me. Really? They like this name. I said, I like the name Wahhab because Allah is Al-Wahhab. Allah is the only bestower. He is the ultimate bestower. And that's what Al-Wahhab means. But you mustn't call yourself that. If you say we're followers of Muhammad Ibn Abdul Wahhab, that's nice, but I don't believe you even on that because... He's been dead for nearly 200 years. So it's better just to go back to the Quran and say we follow Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is the biggest challenge of all, isn't it? Isn't it? To do real Islam in these modern times, there's your challenge. And do it in a way that you can have fun. You can have fun. I have fun every day. There are a lot of things you can do to enjoy. 